Good morning, folks. Or good evening, depending on when you're watching. Out on the club dig, Sunday morning. Guess who's with me? Say hello, Pops. Say hello. Busy. Four months worth of digging to catch up with, so I'm getting no sense out of them. Like a whirlwind. Ah, you got to take it easy, though. So just doing little patches and then going back to the car for a cup of tea, have a rest, come out, do a little patch, go back to the car, have a rest, see how long, see how long we last. Sorry about the wind, try and get you out of it. I found a few crusties, bloody big hole here, couldn't find it. And then I found it, I'm going to take a cross over. Don't know if that's focused or not. Silver Shilling, 19, 1910. I don't know if you can see that. George V. Oh no, Edward. Oh, very nice. Of course it's Edward. I don't think I've got an Edward Shilling. Well, I have now, but I don't think I had an Edward Shilling. Very pleased with that. Okay, let's carry on. Put some stop hitches up. Say hello, Pops. Hello. Okay, catch you in a bit. There, you can see it now. Okay, catch you in a minute. Okay, 20 minutes later, with a couple of crusties. I think I've got another silver here. Come on, focus. I think that's focused. I should give it a clean eye. I think it's going to be a bullet. Yeah. George third bullet silver. It's a bit chopped. But I'll take it. Okay, let's carry on. Okay, folks, coming towards the end of the hunt now. I've had plenty of coppers, probably, I don't know, 15, 20 coppers. I'll... There's some good ones there. There's a George III with some really good detail on it, and it's still got a, a bit of a green patina. Uh, there's plenty of other coppers with bits and bobs on, so if, I think they're worth showing, I'll put you a, a, a still picture up at the end. Uh, my dad's done really well, he's having a break now, I'm going to make my way over to the car and we'll call it a day, it's about half two I think. So he's done longer than he expected, but you'll probably feel it later on, won't he? Okay, I think I've got my hat-trick of silvers. I don't know if you can see the edge there. Let's see where we are. Hey, nice bullet. Beautiful. I don't know, can you see that? There it is there. Can't see nothing through this screen. Nice bullet. Let's see if we can get a date. Hang on a minute. Okay, I can't see the date. Maybe you can. No, I still can't see the date. Happy with that?
Is there much going on on the reverse? Yeah, I think there is. Yeah, get it cleaned up, get you some still pictures. Okay, if I don't find any more silver coins between now and the car, I'll probably turn this into a two hunt video because I think it's only short, it's only about six, seven minutes long maybe. So, I'll see you at the next location. Bye for now. Hello folks, different day, different dig. I uh, want to join this on the end of that last video. I've been out twice in between that and found absolutely nothing. So I just didn't bother filming. Uh, today I've found a couple of coins, uh, watch winder, another bloody stair rod gripper. You know, them things absolutely haunt me. Um, Nothing to speak of really. Uh, just come down this last little go, it's about half past two. And I've got a silver coin. It doesn't look too old. Nineteen fourteen. One shilling. George Five. Ah oh, well, I know it's not great, but it's made my day. That I was having an awful day. It wasn't very deep. A couple of inches, three inches maybe. Give a lovely ninety. Okay. Put you some picks up and I'll catch you on the next hunt because I doubt I'm going to find another silver coin between now and the car. Alright, catch you in a bit.